So as far as Nigeria is concerned, I think we all recognize that there's a lot to be done. Nigeria is now 169th out of, out of 190. I think the, the 190th country was added last year, and that's Somalia. So, you know, there's a lot to be done for Nigeria to move up in the rankings. In the sub-Saharan Africa context, Nigeria is 37 out of 48. So again, being the, the largest economy in Africa, we expect that Nigeria could be doing a lot more. When this administration came in, the Nigerian economy was on a slide. So when we came in, we developed a plan, the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan. We had to get businesses producing again. So we came out with the Presidential Enabling Business Council. Our reason for PEBEC is because we know that there is no other way but to have the private sector partnering with us to drive growth. Today we have a seven trillion budget, but if you look at private sector, what the private sector does on private sector investments is, 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 in, is in multiples of that. So the only way to ensure that we're able to grow at the pace we need to grow is to ensure that it is the private sector that drives that growth. And you can't drive that growth unless you have an environment that's favorable to business. The SME's uh, uh, sector is, is the engine of growth in, in, in most nations and I think even particularly so in Nigeria because we're very entrepreneurial. So at the end of the day, the fulcrum, the, the centre, the engine room of the growth of our economy is the SME sector. The challenges that businesses face generally, and those are the three things that we took as the cornerstone of this project in every area that we work in, is the, the speed of doing business, the cost, and transparency, access to information. Without exception, reforms fall into those categories. So we took up the challenge to work on those things. We also try to be very responsive. Prior to what has just happened, we had like four or five different forms we have to fill. Now we have one single form. Then we also deployed the company's registration portal, which uh, enables customers to now do the registration online from the comfort of their office or their home. We have made it easy to pay tax, so you can pay your taxes online, you can pay your taxes anywhere in the world, as long as you have an internet connection, and basically you can also download your receipts immediately. We have a situation where every permit, every approval that is required in terms of regulation, there's a stipulated time frame with which our agency needs to respond, and to the extent that we don't respond within that timeline, um, the applicant will deem his application approved. Um, one of the bottlenecks we have that sort of challenges ease of doing business in the port is the congestion of cargo. So um, we would realize the need to deploy rail, for example. We have minimal rail access into the port locations. We're working with the Nigerian Railway Corporations to enhance um, evacuation of cargo through the rail. The National Assembly made a commitment from inception that we will improve the business environment in Nigeria and then the issue of credit came. People have to get credit to be able to establish small businesses and address and then we said okay fine we will do the credit, credit uh, reporting bill and then we will do the movable assets uh, bill to provide an enabling environment for investment in Nigeria. What we have done in Lagos State is to designate 15 courts now over the seven magisterial districts that we have in Lagos State. And it's the first of its kind in this country. From the inception of filing to the uh, service hearing of evidence in the court and to the conclusion of that matter must not exceed 90 days. This will encourage more business activities. Nigeria's you know, journey in this has been you know, quite phenomenal. I also want to, to mention something about um, that's very particular to Nigeria and the work that um, Ibis and Pebeka are doing, which is that they've looked at the issues and they said, look, um, you know, airports are very important to us. Entry and exit of people is something that we want to tackle. When an investor comes, first thing they get to the country is the airport. You know, let's take a look at our airports. And I really, really think it was such a great idea. Unlike the, before, you apply for visa, it stays for one month two months, nobody replies. Now we have mandated our office that you need to respond within 48 hours. This is easy in the business. By October 2017, when the results came out on the 31st of October, we moved up 24 points. We were one of the 10 most reformed economies in the world in 2017. 
We became number six in the world in areas of getting credit. Now what this does is that it makes you realize that with a, with a systemic approach, focusing on impact, you get results. I think it's one of the most significant strides um, in terms of the economy we've had um, in this administration. One, it shows that there is hope in terms of the efforts um, we've been putting so far. And secondly, it means things are actually working. Investors like the direction in which government is going. Um, they believe that even if things are not moving as fast as they would like, they are moving in the right direction. So investors can plan on the basis that the improvements will continue. I think for us, remember that the vision is to become one of the most attractive and easiest places to do business in the world. That's a tall order. Now, what it means is that like, we must continue to improve. It's a journey of continuous improvement. What we would like to see is in the year 2019, where the Financial Times will write an article talking about the economic miracle in Nigeria and saying that the secret was because we improved the ease of doing business.